Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today, I'll be showing you how to pre-generate your Minecraft server's world. Pre-generating chunks is a very useful technique for servers to help reduce the server's load in the future. In Minecraft, chunks will generate as a player walks around the world to new places. By pre-generating the chunks, your world will already be built, so the server will just have to load the data rather than creating it. As you can see, I've logged into the server panel, and my server is currently online and running 1.15.2 Spigot. I'm going to first connect to my server using an FTP client. So I'll go to the FTP file access settings, and I'm going to copy these details into an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. As you can see, I'm now connected to my server using an FTP client. I'm using FileZilla, and I'm going to actually minimize this for now, and let's bring back the server panel and stop our server. Uh, this is because we need to first install the plugin in order to pre-generate the chunks. We're going to be using World Border to pre-generate these chunks. We'll have the plugin download in the description of this video. So what you can do is click download now. This will then download the plugin to your computer. And we'll just go ahead and save that to our desktop. Now that the plugin is downloaded, we're simply going to drag and drop the plugin to our plugins folder and wait for this to upload. Once this has been uploaded, we can go ahead and start our server, and this will cause the plugin to then uh, be loaded into our server so we can use it in game. If you have any issues with loading up the plugin, make sure to check console for any sort of errors. Now that the server is started, we're actually going to join the server in game. So I'm going to get the server IP from the main panel page. All I'm going to do is copy the IP address and then paste it in game. So we've loaded up Minecraft. I'm going to paste in our server's IP and click join server. And we're then going to be dumped into our server. Now, if we do slash plugins, uh, we're actually going to see that the world border plugin has been loaded up. If I try to run the world border command, I'm going to be given the error. I don't have sufficient permissions. This is because I have not given myself the operator permissions and I'm going to need to do that through the console. However, if you have a permissions plugin set up, you can go ahead and just give yourself permissions for this plugin. As you can see, I've now made myself a server operator. So if I run the world border command, I will be given a list of the commands that I can use with this plugin. So world border has a few different options you can use. Um, however, the main one we're going to be looking at is WB, which stands for world border, set, and now we need to enter in a radius. So we're going to need to enter in a X and a Z um, for the radius. This is how big the world border is going to be, as well as how big it will generate all of the chunks that are within that border. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's just do something a bit small. Uh, we'll do a 10 by 10. As you can see, the world border has now been set to the radius of 10 at the X coordinate, negative uh, 92.1, and then the Z coordinate of 318.5. So if we kind of fly around this way, we are going to be bounced back and given a message with some particle effects saying we've reached the edge of this world. If we try to go this way, we're going to be given the same message. Same if we go behind us and this way as well. So this entire radius here is now the only area we can explore in this world. If we want to make the radius a bit bigger, we can run the exact same command, however, just specify a larger radius. So let's do a 50 by 50, and now the world border has been updated to that 50 radius. So if we fly this way, we are given a much bigger radius in which we can explore. We're going to update our world border radius to a thousand by a thousand. Now, the bigger the world radius, the more time it's going to take to fill that radius and generate those chunks. In order to do that, we can do WB fill. And if we run this command, it's going to ask us if we are positive that we want to run this command. Whenever we run this command, it's going to give us some information and ask us to confirm. So essentially what it's saying is it's going to process up to 20 chunks per second, and the map will be padded out to 208 blocks beyond the world border. So in order to continue this process, we'll need to do WB fill confirm. It's also given us two other commands that we can use to cancel or to pause the current uh, loading of the chunks. So if we confirm this, it's going to then uh, start that world map generation task. As you can see, it's already done the first set of chunks and it's going to tell us the progress of what it currently has done. So it's currently processed 2.5% of the chunks that we told it to process. If we want to pause this, for whatever reason, maybe 
you need to do something else on your server and this is causing a bit of lag, we can pause it and it won't generate those chunks anymore. We can unpause it by simply running that command once more. Now the task has been unpaused and it will continue generating those chunks. If we want to completely cancel this task, we can run wb fill cancel and that will cancel the current generation of those chunks. There's another command built into world border called the trim command and this will remove all generated chunks, 13 chunks outside of your current set world border. If we go ahead and run this command, it's going to ask us to confirm once again and then it's going to trim the chunks, 13 chunks outside of the current world border. It's given us a bit more information about this and it said seven entire regions and 845 individual chunks have been trimmed so far. And then it completed it because once again, the world uh, border has been set to a very small amount. It's also said that now that the task is over with, we should restart the server to make sure all of the chunks have been saved and we don't have any sort of world corruption issues. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.